everyone, it is me here again, this time I'm going to record episode 15 of my Total Immersion Racing gameplay and this time it's gonna be the, v the VMAC Challenge or VMAC I, I don't know what's the name, what's the correct pronunciation of the card yeah, I mean, it doesn't even have a Wikipedia a Wikipedia page for the, for the card sorry, for the manufacturer there's a Wikipedia page for the card that was used for the GT300 which is extremely similar to this one, but it, is, it isn't this one. This one is different. So yeah, this is this is supposed to be better than the panel, but I know that it's it gets really loose really quick. So I'm gonna change the balance a bit, uh, like I did with the BMW, and maybe try to solve that. I do not know a thing about the about the lister. I, I do not remember a thing about it. I'm also gonna change the um, yeah. This is going to be like. This, two ticks to the right, one, two ticks to the right, and this is going to be also three ticks to the right. Let's see if this works. I mean, this should be, uh, this should correct a bit the, the how this car handles. It is a bit smaller than all the other cars. And it has a weird kind of sound. I think it's the sound of a Porsche engine. I think they are using a Porsche engine. Well, did you see how, how much wheel spin I got? This car wants like, likes to get loose. And that was not only wheel spin, I, was, uh, I, was, uh, I had the chance to spin out. Very wide! He definitely likes to dance around. I like how this car looks a lot. I mean, this is another car that looks a bit like a, like a Daytona prototype. I'm glad released before the Daytona prototype. Oh, somebody spun out. And it's gonna happen on this car. For example, seeing a simple spin out, that would be weird. But seeing one of these has been out, holy shit, I mean, it's gonna happen. Well, if he's well done and let me buy, that's always nice. I do not like this car, I remember that at once, I won the GT, the GT Drivers Championship on the second year, and using Qualified. So they offered me a ride on this team, and there was a test drive. And even though I passed the test drive, I said I said to them, "Fuck you." I mean, I didn't like the car at all, at all, at all. especially on the on the default settings. Oh god! I mean, the car has some speed, and it's a yeah, that's fuck. But the problem is that holy shit. It gets so sideways so quickly. For example, the braking I think is maybe the, the best one of the class. But yeah, braking doesn't mean shit for me. If, if you are getting this loose this quick. Holy shit, I mean I cannot I cannot turn sharply um, on high revs. I cannot tackle uh, sorry, attack a curve. I cannot, do, I cannot do shit with the car while trying to kill me. Essentially kill me. I'm gonna have problems with this car. Serious problems. I mean, it has a spring field, which I would hope it will help me because, you know, I like this track and that track like, likes me. So, yeah, it's gonna be possibly fun. But yeah, I do not like it on ta on Dolphin, I mean, that's for sure. I mean, on fourth year it is much more, you know, much more pacific, much more easy to handle. I mean, it doesn't want to kill me. But as soon as I get to third year or second year, holy shit, I'm, I'm, get, I'm going sideways. If I was a manual, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't try to use the third gear, or the second. I would be like, yeah, can I do this whole thing on fourth? 
Luiz. Okay, so yeah, it's like uh, power slide and on feet. That means that the car is power rule, but that also means that the car doesn't have any kind of stability. There are a bunch of cars that didn't, that didn't want it to kill me. This feels so good. Very quite tough to feel races with the sinker and the panel. Cars that didn't really want, want it to kill me. And then there's this. I mean, if you, if you manage to go around smoothly, well, there's, there's some speed. There's definitely some speed on it, but then it. I want to get on for here, please. Okay, now it is safer. Now I can change directions and all that. Outside wheel with the, you know, in the middle of the air. Oh fuck! Please, go back to the power, and I win this race, even though I do not deserve it. Well done. The race is yours. But yeah, I hate this car, and I hope I can win this on the first try, on the first take, because otherwise I'm going to murder myself. I mean, that's gonna be the thing. Murder myself. There is so much to hate about this car. I mean, the design is cool, and the engine is cool, and it's a Porsche engine after all. I mean, a flat six. And it's, the, it's the classic, the classic uh, uh, flat six. I think like it was used on the 993 maybe, and it was used on. I mean, I guess it's the engine from a from a 9, 911 GT3, or maybe a 911 GT2. But okay, of course. But yeah, I mean, the car is a... Uh, I mean, it's not that it's a handle. So it's not that it's a handful to to, man, to to drive around. The problem is that, holy shit, there's no traction. Okay, I'm gonna overtake as many because again. Acceleration all through all around the curbing, just to be sure 
that the that the that the automatic transmission wasn't falling down to circle. Just to uh, to be sure for that. I was like, for fuck's sake, please do not downshift. Okay, that was a really good pass around that. I'm gonna run the fuck away from the, oh, from, oh, from them on this street. And maybe hit 170 miles an hour. Can I hit 170 miles an hour? Well, I can hit maybe 180. 180! Thumbs up for the for the dance reference. I mean the car is, ni is nice on this part. On this part it is nice. And there's definitely some power under the hood. Well maybe it's on the back, but you know, you know what I mean. The engine color. Definitely power under the engine cover, but yeah, it is also a fucking beach on the motor road. I mean, there's definitely power on here. Last time I was getting like 163 on the on the on the panel. Well, so yeah, fucking 170. The straight line is much better. But well, the world ain't the straight. I mean, this could be nice, for example, on the Robin a Mobile. Or, you know, or, or here. I mean, here it is nice. Well, it is nice until here. For like, for 100, sec for 100 seconds, more or less, it is a really nice car to use on here, on this track. But then it, is, it, it, it becomes a bitch. In a wrong way. I mean, the car shouldn't be. This car should be fast in a different kind of way to be a bit easier to drive and a bit nicer for the driver. 
Te llevo el Ford Drive. So we are waiting for this new thing to load, the Springfield Raceway. I don't know if I if I have clinched the championship. I think I have. Yeah, because I mean I think I've, I think I have all 22 points. I have, if I have 22 points, that means that the championship is clinched from now. Now we're racing because I've won two races and it's only one by the by the artificial intelligence. Hey. I did the second bump in order for you to not spin out. You should be thankful. I 
they have problems with the, you know, keeping them first. I could have done the faster lap there if it wasn't for that awful piece of world speed. Yeah, battling hard for several. Maybe for the win if I fuck up. Well, I am fucking up, that's for sure. Ah, at least I'm gonna get the win. Fuck it. I'm gonna care. How the fuck did somebody spin on the last corner? That's hard to do. That's hard to do. I mean, th that's not a place where you spin. That's a place where you fucking fly off the track. He spun. Jao. Jao spun off the track. Or maybe it was Bond. I don't know. One of the two spun. How the fuck do you do that? I mean, he spun off the track on the, on the last turn, and also it's the fastest turn of the track. Yeah, it's the fastest. Well, no, the fastest one is the one before, because it's full front. So, yeah, I'm getting a card I'm not gonna use ever. Because it's a motherfucking bitch. I mean, I never knew Japanese cars could be this awful. Well, maybe. Well, I can't anyway, because of the. Of the stupid S2000 on Gran Turismo. Bro, I hate that car on that game. And I haven't, I haven't driven one in real life. But, well, if it is like in, in Gran Turismo, it is a stupid car. Hella stupid. So, yeah. See you next time. Bye bye.